you got your Cracker Jacks ready? Because <laughs> the wait is almost over. Just about two hours now. The first pitch will be thrown out the new Braves ballpark. It's only an exhibition game, but it has all the excitement and trappings of a regular season mm -hmm. game. And some special Braves fans will get to experience the opening of SunTrust Park. Yes, only season <laughs> ticket holders were able to get tickets for this game. It's going to be a test run for the ballpark's official opening in two weeks. Well, Fox 5's Natalie Fultz is down on the field. And what's the view from there, Natalie? Hey guys, well it feels like Christmas morning for Braves fans. One, because a new season is upon us. And two, because they've got this place, a brand new ballpark. And although their wait wasn't long for this place to be built, they tell me that they cannot wait to get inside. It's jaw dropping. A feeling shared amongst many Atlanta Braves fans. When this announcement was made, we were, I was very adamant to be the first one sitting in the seats for the first game. Even though this isn't actually the opening day, it's the first time a team is playing on the field. So this is like really big for us. The start of a new season, days away, this time in a brand new ballpark. I've liked Turner Field and I've been to Fulton County Stadium when I was a kid. So it's kind of interesting to see how they progressed. It looks great though. Fans traveled from all over the Southeast to be a part of Friday night's exhibition game. I don't really know how I'm going to feel yet. I think it's just going to be a moment of pure awe because I've been waiting for this for three years now since they've announced the place. And as sad as I am to see Turner Field leave, I'm very excited for the new opportunity to go to the stadium. Many saying the beauty of SunTrust Park is undeniable. The stadium itself is beautiful, so can't complain. Can't complain about the stadium, that's for sure. So much excitement for these fans to be the first to enter the gates and see a new chapter in Braves history. I love Turner Field and all, but I never actually like was there from the start. The feeling of being here from the ground up, it's just, it's something special. And I spoke with Eddie Perez, he's a coach for the Braves now, but he was a player for them back in 97 when they were playing at Turner Field. And he says he remembers walking into Turner Field for that first game. But he said when he came in here yesterday, there was nothing like it. That's the latest here in Cobb County. Natalie Foltz, Fox 5 News. All right, Natalie, thanks. You know, while fans inside the ballpark are excited about the game, drivers outside are concerned about potential traffic problems, and you can see why. You're looking live at the traffic headed to the first game at SunTrust Park. This is the view of 285 and Powers Ferry Road. Quite stacked up as you look at traffic coming toward us. At the Police Command Center, crews are monitoring 30 critical intersections around the ballpark and the 14 points of entry to SunTrust Park. More than 70 traffic signals will be timed to keep traffic moving. Our Skyfox traffic team is also monitoring the traffic around the park. So let's go back to Katie Beasley for the latest there. Katie? Hey, we're looking at SunTrust Park here on our map. You can see the park right in the center, and you've got all the interstates and the roads right around that looking pretty sluggish right now. I-75 moving through this Cobb Cloverleaf. You've got 285 here as well, Cobb Parkway and Windy Ridge Parkway. Also, that Circle 75 isn't showing up with a sensor, but it's got an extra volume right now, too, as folks head to the game. First pitch is at 735. They've moved it back to help with traffic traffic on weeknights. This will be the first test of that. So we'll be watching that pretty closely. Of course, 75 as we zoom out, it is much slower than normal north and southbound this afternoon. So northbound right now from 285 all the way up to Wade Green. That's going to be about an hour trip time heading southbound as you come in. If you're heading toward the game from the southern suburbs or the northern suburbs up here from Marietta, maybe from Wade Green down to 285. That's going to take about half an hour. Also looking at 285. You just saw that one camera. Here's another look at it right around Powers Ferry and the traffic on the right half of your screen is the ones heading to the Cobb Cloverly. 48 minutes to move between 85 across the full top and perimeter over to I-75 and that Cobb Cloverly. Of course, the Braves partner is the Waze Navigation app. They're urging folks to use that Waze app to their specific parking lot. You just plug it in through that Waze app and it'll direct you to the right app and adjust with the routes that are changing minute by minute. So we'll keep you updated on that. All right, we appreciate it, Katie. And